Hello YouTubers, my name is Freddy from Virality Gaming and today I'm bringing you a very interesting tutorial. We will be learning how to use text. There are many ways of using text and there's many ways that I've used text to engage my viewers into my videos. Uh, some ways such as the video that you will be seeing in the top right corner right now. Um, that one has kind of a text coming out and going back in as I was talking. And the other text way is one like this, where a text will appear now, 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 now. It will kind of appear like that, giving that kind of effect. I don't know, it kind of, in, it just gets the viewer involved in the video and kind of immerses the viewer into the video. Kind of gets your eyes kind of glued onto the screen because so much is happening and um, I don't know, it kind of looks cool, it's visually appealing and people like that. People want something that's kind of cool, catchy, kind of works and it's visually appealing. Otherwise they would just hit X on the screen. Uh, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into it. I'm not going to have any video in the background, it's just going to be a black screen. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to right click new item and get a black video. Uh, it'll be set like that. And I'm just going to drag it on. For you, you're going to have your footage here and you're going to drag it on. You're going to find the part that you want to edit. But for me, I'm just going to use a black screen just because it's easier. We're only going to be using one thing, uh, and that will be just one text. Um, you can learn from this video, it's going to be a short tutorial. You can learn from this video and take what you've learned and uh, screw with it, have fun with it, you know, play with it. Uh, do whatever with the uh, what you've learned from this video and make your video interesting. But what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this uh, project folder. We're going to go to new item and we're going to hit title. Uh, sorry if you hear anyone walk upstairs. Um, but anyway, so we're going to change this ni a name to, uh, I'm going to change it to Virality Gaming. Uh, my mistake. Uh, virality. Uh, oh my god, I screwed that up badly. Um, anyway, okay, so Virality Gaming. <laughs> Uh, so we have 60 FPS, you know, high um, resolution and stuff. But I called it that, and that's for organization's sake. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the text, because we want to highlight the text. We're just going to drag it across the screen. And this should create a massive text box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do Virality Gaming. For you, you're going to do whatever you want as text. And once again, I screwed that up. There we go. Uh, virality gaming, there we go. Um, but that looks boring, and I, I know you guys can agree with me, that looks really, really boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the font, because we've got all of these fonts, so let's use them. We've got some pretty cool fonts, um, fonts that I use for my videos. Uh, seems like this one has, isn't, hmm, I guess it is quite different. But this is the font that I like to use. Uh, but there's many different types of fonts, cool ones. But like I say, the white ones are the most editable. Uh, so I would recommend a white one. Um, but go with whatever you want. So I'll, I will be using my very favorite font, which is this one. And we're also just going to adjust the size as well to whatever you want. I'm going to use quite large so you guys can see it. And it says Virality Gaming, as you guys already know. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it uh, so it's centered. But for the effect that we will be doing is the pulse effect. And so it kind of comes in and comes out. It goes towards the screen, uh, towards the view, and back out. Um, and so let's go ahead and tilt it. And then we can enlarge it even more. Uh, like that and we can enlarge it to let's say 200 and something but as you can tell the letters already started to wrap around so let's increase the text box and there perfect still looks quite boring uh, because it's just plain letters on a black background so what we're gonna do is because my name is normally in red we're just gonna highlight the section I want to convert to a red color we're gonna go to the fill section 
and where there's that little white box or whatever color your text is, uh, there should be a box there. I'm just going to make it red. See, now that looks a lot better. To me, that looks quite nice. I'm just going to get rid of that. To me, that looks quite nice. That looks like what my channels are about. Um, well, that is what my channel logo kind of looks like. And so, yeah. So, we're going to hit X. There isn't a save button anywhere. It's just this X button. And it saves it. So, it's pretty cool like that. Now, we're going to drag that on. And as you can tell, we've got our text here. But for the entire video, you don't want it to look like that. It looks quite boring, and soon it will just disappear. Um, but what we want to do is that pulse effect. So we're going to click on it when it's in our thing, maybe enlarge it a bit. And we're going to go to effects of control, hit motion. Um, and as you can see, there's positioning, scale, rotation, and everything there. What we're going to do is we're going to do a keyframe on pos not position, my mistake. Uh, we're going to do a keyframe on scale, and as you can tell, a little frame came up there, and a frame should be uh, somewhere in there as well, possibly, um, but it's right there. That's all that matters, it's like you see a key there, a keyframe there. So now we're going to drag our thing, and as you can tell, it drags down here as well. Move it to the location that you want, I'm going to move it to about there, we're just going to increase the scale to there um, and then we're going to go over here and we're going to decrease the scale what I should have done was that for the first frame was minimize it now let's go back over now it's really small let's enlarge it and make it smaller so now let's have a look this should work really well. Yeah, see it has that kind of pulse effect. You can adjust it so then they're like more spread out. Um, or you can uh, highlight it and copy it and you know do control V and control V like that. And so it kind of is easier to do. And you can slow it down. It, it really depends on how you have your keys, uh, keyframe set up, uh, your frame set up. And so yeah, so that's just how to do the pulse effect. There's many different effects you can uh, do with text. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on tutorials that you want me to do, uh, remember they're coming out every Friday. I'm happy to do anything that you have, uh, su any suggestions you have for footage-wise. Uh, well, tutorials, I mean. Um, so yeah, just let me know. I've uh, Gain quite a lot of experience with Adobe Premiere Pro CC, so don't be afraid to ask. Uh, if not, I will be willing to learn it so then I can do a tutorial on it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace. So weird. Stay behind. Officer, you know you're not in cover, right? Oh my. Right in the vagina.